Hi, it's Alaska Granny. Have you wondered what food should I eat first if the power goes out? Well, in any kind of an emergency where you don't have electricity, the first thing you need to remember is don't open the refrigerator and the freezer any more than you absolutely must. They'll remain cold in your refrigerator and frozen in your freezer for two to three days if the power doesn't come back on. However, the foods you should eat first are the ones that are in your refrigerator. You want to remember what's in there, open the door quickly, get out what you need, close the door. Keep it closed as much as you can to ensure that the foods stay fresh. Next, you want to turn to the foods in your freezer. If your power is going to be off for more than a day or two, you need to be concerned with the spoilage of the foods that remain in there. You may think you don't have a way to cook them, but you probably do if you think about it. Do you have a gas grill? Do you have a camp stove? Do you have one of those little emergency stoves? Those can help you cook and prepare the things that are in your freezer. Next, you want to go to your pantry, and you're going to use up your canned goods, your packaged goods, your jars of peanut butter. Those things that you normally eat on a day-to-day -day basis, you can still use them. You'll probably want to start off, if the electricity goes out, eating things that are simple to prepare. Take a tortilla, roll up some meat and cheese and some fresh veggies, or try spreading a little cream cheese and jelly and roll that up. Try spreading your peanut butter on crackers or some cheese and crackers. Now's a good time to open up the canned fruits and canned foods like chili or ravioli. They don't need to necessarily be cooked or prepared. You can probably eat them right out of the can and just tell yourself it's an adventure. If an off-the-grid situation continues for a long period of time, that's when you're going to be glad when your pantry is well stocked and you could continue on indefinitely. But if the world goes to pot like some people are afraid of, then you're going to break out your long-term food storage and go get those canned goods that have been put away for the 30-year emergencies. Remember, even if the power only goes out for an hour, you need to have a supply of fresh drinking water at all times. You need to store one gallon per person per day for a minimum of three days up to two weeks. Try to store as much water as you can. Have a few of the water bottles for grab and go, a few of the gallon water jugs, and maybe from there a few five gallon jugs. When you have a plan for what you're going to do and what foods you should eat in an emergency, then it isn't such a bad, horrible deal. You'll be able to cope and face with whatever comes your way. You want to make sure that you and your family will be okay no matter what. Learn more at alaskagranny.com. Please subscribe to the Alaska Granny channel.